uh, Pleasure P, Lil Boosie, it's a lot of people, but I'm just, you know, like I said, man, you know what, what Rock Left gonna do with me, but it's for people like y'all, man, that's why we're here, so I want to thank you for this interview, and thank you, keep doing your thing too, Hey, your Fresh coming, man, that, 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 I'm already here, oh, yeah, but I'm a blue. Now, let me tell you something, man, if you, if Hustle Man don't know you, step your grind up, man, Hustle Man Show, Hey, your Fresh, we got the whole world jockeys, that's the number one singer in the world. Yeah, it's your boy Chameleon there, man. I'm just, you know, the album Ultimate Victory is in stores right now. I'm just trying to show people lead by example, man. Be creative, man. Be a, be a leader. Be a boss, man. I, I do music the way I think it should be done, man. I put albums the way I think it should be done. And y'all know what it is, man. It's the boy Chameleon there. Let me say my side. I stay doing it big on the Hustle Man show. No time, but I'm a military man. I got one question for you. What you been working on lately? Already know it's your boy DRE Cool and Dre. The Hustle Man Show is the hottest show in the world. Right now we're working with Usher on his new album, Ryan Carey on, on her new album, Gym Class Heroes, Birdman, Freeway, Rick Ross, Akon, everybody. Yeah, we're trying to get it, you know. Just got one question. How has DJing changed from your era to the new era? Um, technology took over. Bottom line, technology, some are good, some are bad. Um, put it this way, I myself, I'm using a Salado. No, I'm, I'm glad to say that. No, we just got God bless that. We got Joe Craig. Run and learn the football. What's up, my brother? All these bums here. What's up? All these bums here. All these bums here. What's happening, bro? Yeah. Hey, Joe, my God. Joe, come on. Understand that's the guy who discovered it. Oh, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Red Alert, if it wasn't for Red Alert, would never ever. Look, this is the real statement. If it wasn't for Red Alert, it would not be no fat Joe whatsoever. So you wouldn't have heard of no big pun, no, no, nobody. You know what I'm saying? This the man saved my life. All I gotta say is one thing. He gave me something that sound good. Regardless if somebody I knew or not, if it sounds good, I'm gonna go and play it. Bottom line, because everybody in here, once upon a time, was a one-time person. And the rest is the history. I love it. Peace. Yeah, what up, y'all? It's Coca Baby Chris Mini, and you are tuned into the Hustle Man Show. Get at me. I got one question for you. They say you could make or break an artist's career. Have you ever made and have you ever broke an artist's career? But I, don't, I haven't broke. <laughs> I ain't trying to, like, put nobody out of business or nothing. But, yeah, you know, I, you know, we made a lot of artists. A lot of them that's walking up and down this ramp, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we had our hands on them at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, I don't know about that. We ain't going to say that, you know what I'm saying? But we do our thing, man. You know, now we had 330 DJs across the country, man. So it's like... They got to come through. They got to come out at us. You know, you know, it's all good, man. It's just I'm glad that BET recognized the whole DJ movement, so I guess we're doing our job. We guess we're doing our job. Hustle, how you been, man? Shout out to my boy Hustle, man. He always hold me down. He pop up at all the retreats. It's Tony Neal, core DJs in the building, and uh, we got DJ of the Year. It's going down real big. DJ of the Year. Hey, man. We must be doing something right. They BET started talking about DJs. That's, woo. <laughs> Yeah, Hi, Bootsy, I got a question for you. Uh, how has hip-hop, excuse me, uh, how would you say you influenced hip-hop over the years, and do you think hip-hop will have the consistency that your music has? Um, I think um, everything changes, and I think um, it all comes from the street, hip-hop. I mean, it all came from the streets, so I think it's going to all stay there. But at the same time, I think when you get to the end of a certain road, things change. And I think right now we come into that end, not an end of hip-hop, but a new direction for hip-hop. So, uh, and, and I think everybody knows it, and like, everybody's kind of looking forward to who's going to step out and make that change. You know, so everybody's kind of looking forward to it. We got a few mugs that's... Uh, just, you know, tweaking in that way, you know, so uh, we, everybody's waiting to see, you know, and I'm waiting also, you know, but not only am I waiting, I'm going to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah, on the one, man. Take care. All right. How you doing, Melly Mel? I got one question for you today. Uh, how did, have you influenced the new school hip-hop, and uh, are they making the old school proud, or... Uh, you all disappointed in the new school hip hop. Uh, I would 
would say, I mean, not necessarily disappointed, but I, I think they could do a lot better as far as being better role models. You know, nobody don't want to be responsible for uh, 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 being role models for kids, but after all, if kids is listening to what you're doing, then you are a role model whether you want to be or not. So I think they should be more mindful that, you know, kids need a pass. You can't just be negative and then expect for kids to grow up positive. So if you got problems with kids today, that's what they listening to what you said yesterday you know what i mean so i think you know everybody just need to be mindful of that and you know just keep on partying but like right now how they got the kids dancing and partying i think that's a lot you know something that i could relate to because we started out dancing and partying so it's all good at the end of the day you know so this is what i was wondering have y'all ever went on a hell date that you wish was a real date uh i mean my dates were cool but i really ain't had none that i wanted to take home afterwards um, I felt bad for a couple of them, so I did try to be the nice guy and be like, I'm going to take her out, like, you know, blah, 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 and that ended up being like a hell day without the cameras. <laughs> okay, what about you? Have you ever went on a date that you wish was a real date? Uh, not on the show, no, unfortunately, because we looked through some of the tapes, I'm like, oh, why Donovan get all the good ones, man? But, nah, I, I wish, but all my dates have been cool, we, I keep contact with all of them, um, usually I take them out to dinner afterwards because I feel bad. So, yeah, yeah, man. Okay, have you ever been a victim of a hell day? Uh, one of my episodes, I thought I was the victim of the hell day where I had to do uh, the swinger. And in the script, like, normally before we do it, each scene, like, if he's the actor or not, we meet and we talk and see what we're going to do. But this particular one, they brought the dude that's supposed to be my gay lover. And I didn't know who he was, never met him before. He came in and he was like, oh, listen, I'm just like, hold on, like, you know, like, caught me off guard. So I was just like, you know. So that probably was like my worst one. It ended up turning out all right, but it was like my worst one. Yeah, I had one where I played a hypochondriac, and the girl was just out of control. Like I didn't. You saw, it was she was out. Of, she was hitting me, and she's like, "I just want to take him and make him into a man." And by the end of the show, I was like, "Thank you. That just is over." I felt like I was a hell date. Now we done heard you SDA Jeezy, we heard you on all those mixed tapes, you're hot, everybody know it, but what solo benches, are, are, are there any solo benches coming up? I just dropped a new mixtape election day, we gonna have them baby, it's slick, it's slick, the voice box of the block, early 08 man, it's gonna be stupid man, I'm, I'm already working a single right now on watching me with Fabo, I got D-Boy stepping to talk real slick, it's gonna be in the Greg Street compilation. So, man, it's, it's time. The movement has begun. Young Bobby Drake, the Republican. Power to the streets. Y'all know I speak for y'all. Four, four, stand up. Matter of fact, the whole A stand up. I'm connected to all areas. Arms like y'all means. So, you know, we get to the money. Check. Yeah, man, y'all know them as slick. Put in the voice box of the block, man. Hustling with the hustle, man. Hustle, man, TV. You already know what it is. CTE, USDA. Check. Just tell me, how does y'all music influence other artists? That is damn how can other artists influence y'all music? Uh, our, our, our music influences the people who've been through, you know, um, what we've been through. You know, I feel like my music for everybody. I feel like my music for people who've been through what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't go on. So, you know what I'm saying? Touch everybody in the game. I just touch the people who feel how I feel. You know, who've been through what I've been through. Yeah. That's a new dance movement going on. So how can your Cupid Shuffle song, I mean, how does your Cupid Shuffle song differ from the other dance songs we have? Well, the thing is, you know, you got 50-year-old folks doing it, 100-year-old folks. You got kindergarten. You got people doing it for rehabilitation. There's so many different things. So one of them songs like that, they just they just stick. You know what I'm saying? And you just keep rocking with it. And then I'm an R&B cat. So, you know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I can, I can stay in the lane. Man. I'm glad to be out here with all, with all these cats, man. I got a question for all of y'all. Now, now, how is the season, y'all College Hill season, different from the other seasons? Because we show the grind, the hustle, the professional side, the intelligent side, the ambitious side. We all got drive. We way different from any other show you've ever seen on TV. You will never see these kind of divas on TV, honey. What y'all know? What y'all know about that? We put women in the same house, honey, and have a good show. Hey, no fights. Everybody got along. 